Hi, my name is Sarah. I am the tiger keeper here at the Detroit Zoo. And we have two tigers, Amelia, who is 12 years old. And then we have Nikolai, who is six years old. Uh, around 8.30, both cats are ready for their breakfast. Um, Nikolai gets about eight to nine-ish pounds of uh, meat early in the morning. Leah usually gets around four pounds. There's a very large size difference between the two. Leah weighs around 260 pounds and Nikolai weighs around 400. We do a variety of husbandry training. We usually start off with Target. Um, it's the easiest um, and it helps us just kind of keep their attention and keep them focused. And then sometimes we um, do other things like check their paws and we'll have them stand up and put their paws on the mesh. We'll also check their teeth by having them open their mouths and um, we have them stand all the way up so that we can check their bellies. These trainings help make our lives easier and their lives. We do this so that stress is reduced when we do medical procedures mostly and it helps us keep track of their health. So after they get their uh, breakfast, we normally go out and clean the yard. This usually just involves picking up any poop, sometimes switching toys around, sometimes we'll scatter enrichment. It might be olfactory, like a scent. Sometimes we'll like scatter their parts of their diet around so they have to search for it so that they are stimulated in ways that they would normally be in the wild. So after I'm done cleaning the yard, uh, usually we switch the cats from which yard they were in the day before. So we have an overhead that they can use to cross the hallway. And our cats are used to this. This is their routine every day, so they shift very easily between the front yard and the backyard. They know it's their routine. So once the cats have been shifted into their yards, we clean inside. We utilize a system called Two Lock, Two Key to ensure our safety and our tiger safety. So my coworker Aaron is helping me today. He is my second person. I have one lock and he will have another lock before um, we can go anywhere that a cat has been. He has to make sure that it is safe for me to enter those areas. We'll hose all the stalls out to get any uh, dirt or um, poop that we find in there out. Also, we'll wash the water dishes and wash the feed chutes um, to make sure everything's clean for them. Tigers are normally solitary and they are only together in the wild um, if it's a mom and her cubs or um, the, there is a breeding circumstance. But we usually look at our cat's behavior uh, when we are doing breeding introductions. Leo will show um, a lot of signs and a lot of interest in our male. She'll be chuffing at him a lot and our male will chuff back at her and those are usually our cues that it is time to put the tigers together. Thank you for coming with me um, at the Devereaux Tiger Forest today. Um, I hope you enjoyed your time learning a little bit more about tigers and um, their life at the Detroit Zoo. Hope you enjoy your day. Thanks.